Hi everyone and welcome to 775 Sports Cards where uh, I'm going to get into what I've been talking about since I started my channel. Some of my uh, vintage baseball cards and stuff. So I pulled some of these out, got this box out of the closet uh, cards in, and keep them that way. So this is some of the stuff we got. Follow along and see what else is in here. A lot of this, like I said, I have not seen it for at least seven years. Maybe even longer than that, honestly. So, uh... We'll get some of this stuff set up tonight and then show you where we're going to keep Okay, so going through some of the boxes too, I also found, and I put him out here on the table, um, this little Dodger bobblehead that I think I probably had since, I'm going to guess I probably got it in 1968 at a Minnesota Twins game at one of the souvenir booths. And I've hung on to it since then. He's got 32 on him, Sandy Koufax's number. Probably for uh, being in a kid's room, he's held up pretty well over the years. And then a little uh, Dodgers AM FM Sports Radio that I don't think's ever been out of the box and ever been opened up. Farmer John's, don't know where I got it or how I got it, but it's here. So I thought I'd set them out. Let me move the camera a little bit over in the corner over there. You can see a set of a box of 1995 baseball cards. Uh, top Stadium Series Club, it's Top Stadium Club Series 1 box that I found that hasn't been opened in the closet yet. So, tonight what I'm going to do is just show you some of the stuff that I found as I was going through the closet. And I'll set it back up over here. Um, a Beckett baseball card monthly pricing from March of 1993 with Mike Mussina on the cover. Used to be the way... Um, Everyone would have to always get their baseball card prices. Would be you'd buy a Beckett's. And I saved this Beckett from July of 1993. Put it in a little plastic holder and stuff to keep it like new. Mostly because I've been a Dodger fan. Um, ever since I started watching baseball. This had Jackie Robinson on the cover. So I bought it and put it away. It's issue number 100. Don't know that it's even ever been looked at. We'll set that over there. And then the last Beckett I found was a uh, Beckett football from February of 1993. And has Barry Foster on the cover. This one's uh, dog-eared a little bit there in the corner. For some of you guys who have never seen anything any of the Becketts before... This used to be how we get all of our pricing. You'd find, um, let's zoom in a little bit right there. You'd find the year of the cards, the players on there. Do the two two columns on there. They would tell you were for uh, high and low prices. Doesn't doesn't mean the card of the, the grade of the card or anything else. That's just what cards were on average were selling for. Gail Sayers, you could see, was selling somewhere between forty and sixty dollars. They put the little arrow on there. He was going up. In price. So that was just some of the stuff I found. This stuff wasn't even in the first box, but it was in the closet. So I thought I'd pull it up and kind of show you what I got. Got some Michael Jordan cards on this first page 1993, 1992. Some of the Olympic years in there. Most valuable player card. And then um, Michael Jordan on the playground. Michael Jordan, the skybox card. Now this card right here, the last card, let me see if I can get it back a little bit where you guys can see it. It's a Michael Jordan card. There's no name on the front. No name on the back. Shows Just shows Michael Jeffrey Jordan, heir. So it's from at least 1991. Um, doesn't have anything else on it. It's a card I haven't seen. I'd kind of like to see if any of you guys out there have seen that before. Um, if you can tell me who made it, what it's worth, and everything else, I'd like to like to get everyone's input on that. So we'll get to the second sheet of basketball cards here. We've got another Michael Jordan on the very top. A Fleer card. Larry Johnson, two Larry Johnson cards up there. The next row down, 
I know these silver cards are hard to see. It's Larry Johnson, 1990 Player of the Year. Another Larry Johnson courtside and Dominique Wilkins limited edition card. So some of these are just mixed up with the cards that we were pulling out and kind of saving from the time back then. We got a Barry Sanders on the top row, three different Barry Sanders cards. Have three more Barry Sanders cards below that, and I guess this whole page is Barry Sanders. Let's go back a little bit. In this looks like a little bit of a mixed, uh, whoops, nope, sorry. That's not a mixed page. There's only one card on that page, and it's Barry Sanders in a Pacific football card. And that is, let's see, looks like a probably 1991 card of Barry Sanders. Putting the page all by himself. The next page, we got some more basketball cards. Got a Kevin McHale. Another Michael Jordan card. And another Larry Johnson card. Let's see if I can move those back just a little bit. There you go. So I'm going to try to pick the pace up a little bit here so we don't go too long. But um, these look like they're all 1993 upper deck cards. The Kemby Matumbo, Joe Demers. Get those out. Too bad in the light. Timmy Hardaway, Chris Mullins, and Hakeem Olajuwon. And then Otis Thorpe is the last card on that page. Looks like more 1993 Upper Deck Basketball cards coming up. We got a Ron Hopper. Sam Perkins. Ron Seekly. And a Steve Smith, Alvin Robinson, Derek Coleman, and Drazia Petrovic. Hershey Hawkins on the top of this one. Dan Majoir, Kevin Johnson, Clyde Drexler, Terry Porter, and Spud Webb. So then we got Dave Robinson, the Admiral, Sean Kemp, Ricky Pierce, Carl Malone, and Michael Adams. And then right in the middle right there is Alonzo Mourning. Christian Leitner up there. Lafonso Ellis. Walt Williams. Todd Day and Clarence Weatherspoon. That looks like it might be our last uh, basketball one. Maybe not. So we'll get into some of the older baseball. The Fleer cards. We got Tim Raines, Carl Yastrzemski, and Steve Sachs. Another Steve Sachs. Then a nice one with the Smith brothers, Ozzie and Lonnie. A Lee Smith card. Another Ozzie Smith card and a Steve Garvey card. Gary Gaetti, Carlton Fiss, Jesse Barfield. We got another Tim Raines, Ricky Henderson card, and an Ozzie Smith card. And all three of the cards on the bottom are Andre Dawson. So there we got a Ricky Henderson, Brian Taylor, one of the draft pick cards, and Darren Lewis, Tony Gwynn. These cards all got bent somehow. Frank Viola, Andre Dawson, Howard Johnson, and Jack Fimple. So this one's kind of a mixture of cards again. We got an Emmett Smith MVP, Barry Sanders. Season Leaders, and Henry Eller, Team MVP card. Below that, we have uh, 
the Brett Favre rookie card, the star rookie card when he was drafted and played for the Atlanta Falcons, I believe just for one season. Then the card next to it's a hologram card of Michael Jordan, upper deck from 1992. I'll show you the most valuable player card on the back there from that. Then underneath there was uh, serial cards. From Ralston Perina Company, we got an Ozzy Smith, Steve Carlton, and another Ozzy Smith in there. So we're getting down into this still some more. We have another Ozzy Smith, the post serial card, Steve Carlton, Billy Hatcher, and Sean Dunstan. We got Brett Saberhagen, another Ozzy Smith card there. The post serial, we have a uh, Nolan Ryan, Eddie Murray, and a Robin Yount card on there. Three Hall of Famers right on the bottom row there. Coming up here, I think these are all kind of cards that were pulled out. Um, rated rookie cards, cards that back in the day were probably worth, uh, going to be worth something. You know how the how some of the rookie cards goes. Makes you kind of wonder when you see what's going on with today's prices on the first year cards. Because these were guys that were going to be uh, the next sensation. That's why we pulled them out. Mark Lewis, Chuck Knobloch, Sid Fernandez. We pulled out four of his cards. Mo Vaughn, Phil Planter, and Greg Anthony draft pick card. So when you look at that and then look at what's going on with some of today's prices on guys that haven't yet played for a lot of years in the NBA, kind of kind of shocks you with the money. Tim Hardaway. Pooh Richardson rookie card and Deflet Shrimp six man card. Going down from there, Dan Wilson, Luis Gonzalez, Ray Langford. We got another Ozzie Smith card there. Cal Ripken Jr. player of the decade card and Chuck Knobloch card there. So, kind of the same thing here. We got an Alan Trommel card who ended up in the Hall of Fame, Sid Fernandez card that I don't know how many years he played or pitched for the Dodgers or anyone else. Then we have a superstar card underneath that of Cecil Fielder, Today and Tomorrow card, Wade Boggs, Dave Justice card, Alan Trommel, Carl Ripken Jr., and a superstar card with Bobby Bonilla and Will Clark on there. So I got another Tim Belcher number one draft pick card for the he's got an Oakland A's hat but it says for the Minnesota Twins. Wade Boggs, Frank Viola, another Frank Viola, Steve Sachs when he played for the Dodgers. A nice looking or Horsizer card there. And an Ozzie Smith from the Walston Perina Company card back down there. Same thing here, Frank Viola, Robin Vincero, Daryl Strawberry cards. AL batting champion cards with uh, Don Mattingly and Wade Boggs. Major League prospect card with Santiago and Gene Walters. And we got a Wade Boggs and Trevor Wilson underneath that. Hope the glare is not too bad coming off these. And I'm trying to pick up the pace a little bit. I don't know if we'll make them through very much more here. We'll maybe try to make through one or two more. So i got some football cards here. Quarterback challenge, Steve DeBerg and Jim Everett. Probably his, other than being a pretty good quarterback, I think, for the Rams. Um, didn't ever get to too much more. they got Fred Lynn, Don Russ, uh, Diamond King cards, Bill Campbell, Tug McGraw, and Rick Manning. I think Tug McGraw's fame, claim to fame as being uh, Tim McGraw's dad, the country western singer. Good baseball player, but didn't make him the Hall of Fame, probably won't, but that's probably going to be his claim to fame. Ron Hodges, Ozzie Vigil, Dan Petrie, Ernie Witt, Cliff Johnson, Pat Zachary, Brian Gills, and Tom Newfinger. And I think we'll make this our last page for the day. Ken Strom, Dwight Kuyper, 
I think he's the play-by-play announcer now for the Giants. Mike Davis. We got a Willie McGee, Mark McGuire card, Chris Chambliss, Tommy John, and a Jeff Russell. Tommy John, who made a still famous out there for having the Tommy John surgery. So, maybe we'll do two more pages here. Got a rated rookie card for Mike Stenhouse, Willie McGee card, Eric Davis, Tony Gwynn, a George Brett, Lloyd Mosby, and Eddie Murray. And I wanted to get to this one tonight. Um, Dominic Wilkins, Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, Michael Jordan, Most Valuable Player card, John Paxson, Scotty Pippen, Brad Doherty and Rolando Blackman. Derry Carpers, Joe Dumars, Bill Lemire, Isaiah Thomas, Tim Hardaway, Chris, Chris Mullins, Hakeem Elijah, Elijah Wan, Reggie Miller, and Chuck Parson. Let's see. Let's uh let's stop there for the night. And we'll uh, get some more of these and get into them. Uh, do another video tomorrow night and get into some more of these older cards and then get into that big box. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you later.